Just hurl yourself off a jagged rock face into water. Yes. Don't think about it. Yeah. Do you know when your parents ask you, like, if your friend jumped off a cliff, would you too? And everyone's like, yeah, I'm the kid that said no. Is there a skill? You're meant to clench your buttocks. Why? I think it's so that a jet of water doesn't give you an accidental enema and rupture your intestines. Okay. Us pair of legends are on a ridiculous journey across Europe, using ferries, coaches and trains to get to Naples and tracking our carbon footprint to see if travelling like this will cost the planet less CO2 than just flying there directly. We're embarking on a 10-hour train journey out of Serbia. The Balkan Express is an old AF train, but it's one of the world's most beautiful rides. It's taking us through Bosnia and Herzegovina, through to Podgorica and Montenegro. From there, it's another four-hour coach to Dubrovnik in Croatia. It may sound inconvenient, but it gives us 300 miles of incredible views that we would have totally missed from a plane. So, there's no dining car on this train. I do have something that the farmers gave to us in that village, oh, yes. which is this. It's a giant bottle of rakia. Okay, it's not as good as water or food, but it, it'll fill a hole. Also, I've got a single boiled egg. You just have a bare egg in your bag. Yeah, I, didn't, I was in a rush and I didn't really know what to do, so I just, here you go, that's our rations for the next 10 hours. Yeah, cool. This is the breakfast of a raging Serbian alcoholic. We should probably just start drinking quite soon, I think. Yeah. We only have 10 hours, so. Yeah. This time, we take one of the world's most beautiful train rides, go swimming in a blue cave where they shot Game of Thrones. Ride segways to meet the Pasta Divas of Bari oh. and go cliff diving. Three. Two, one, one. Welcome to the world without planes. Before the pandemic, we made a sustainable guide to traveling Europe and found out it's funner without them anyway. These views are incredible. Let's celebrate with some rakia. I think we should dedicate this one to Chi from episode one. He rebirthed us into the people we are now. To Chi. To Chi. Beautiful. I feel not just tipsy, yeah. but drunk. I feel drunk. Let's be having you. Let's be having you. Jivoli. Do you want some rock here? Cheers. <laughs> you, you do have to need try. to try this I'm... down in one. Come on. Go. Jivale. Rakia. Rakia. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Tom Hanks. <laughs> Tom Hanks. <laughs> Couldn't take like, this on a fucking plane, could you? Yeah, you can take two litres of Rakia on a plane. <laughs> this right here pictures. is the highest railway bridge in Europe. Like Europe. After 10 hours of travelling over 435 bridges and through 254 tunnels, our memory of the most stunning journey of our lives has been mildly obliterated by our consumption of Serbian moonshine. We should go for dinner so we don't get too pissed. We've woken up in Montenegro with Rakia hangovers and a four-hour coach to catch. The last leg of our journey to Dubrovnik Look at that and just try and tell me that GAD does not exist. How are you feeling right now? Um, I just got really just so excited to get the water. We've been traveling for a 10-hour train, three-hour coach, and we're seeing this beautiful water. That's Alcatraz. <laughs> but the VIP, yeah. just for a select few. Dubrovnik is on the coast of the Adriatic in southern Croatia. It can be quite spenny these days, with Game of Thrones fans descending on the city. This is just a stop off on our journey to Italy, but we have enough time for a dip, i.e. get some content for the gram. We found out that you can hire a small boat for 65 euros per person to take you out to the Elephite Islands, where you can explore Dubrovnik's famous caves. Did you see the absolute beast of a cruise ship in the port? Yeah. They actually have three times the amount of carbon emissions as planes, 
and use 80,000 gallons of fuel per day. I'm not dead. Why would you get a cruise? And they're not fun. And apparently, they're meant to have to reduce their emissions massively by 2020, but they're getting around that by just, instead of releasing the emissions into the air, mixing them with seawater and releasing them into the ocean. So it's just moving the problem into the ocean. I mean, the best way to travel the high seas is a sailboat, like Greta vibes. Yeah, but we can't all convince the Prince of Monaco to sail us across the Atlantic Ocean, so. Land ho! <laughs> Land ho! We've made it, this is the Blue Cave. I think we swim in that small opening that you can see over there. Just be careful of any squidgy things and creatures. Do you know what? I bet there's such squidgy things in here, and like mm. old ones, like ancient ones. After traveling for almost 24 hours by train and coach, we're finally able to submerge our boats into some extremely salty blue water. With air travel, we could have basically teleported here, but the scenic journey across land made it all the more satisfying. Oh, it's warmer in here as well. Because I'm peeing. Oh. If sea levels continue to rise due to climate change, this may be our only chance to experience a natural wonder like this. Waving goodbye to King's Landing, we're hopping on a seven-hour ferry across the Adriatic to Bari in Italy. Benvenuti. Benvenuti. This is gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Don't you want to dive in? Oh, not would from you this height, no. Would you not jump from this no. height? Would you? I would 100% jump from this Shut height, Shut the yeah. hell up. I hadn't been to Dubrovnik before, had you? No, nope, never been to Dubrovnik. Very good first impressions. And there's the old town, which is incredible. It's where they filmed Game of Thrones, King's Landing. It's amazing how quickly they rebuilt it all after the dragons destroyed everything, don't you think? I know, yeah. And brick very, for brick as brick, well. Very it's impressive, incredible. I know. Who's your favorite Game of Thrones character? And your least favorite? Jon Snow's definitely the worst. You don't find him hot? He's such a sap. He's boring, isn't He's he? He's literally such a sap. Yeah. Do you know nothing, Jon Snow? We're about halfway across the Adriatic Sea from Dubrovnik to Bari. We just checked the shipping forecast. It looks like this ferry ride's about to get pretty wavy. After our voyage across the Adriatic, we're heading to Bari's old town to meet up with Paco, who's going to take us on a Segway tour to meet some local ladies known as the Pasta Divas. This is moving on its own. Okay. Yes, sir. Fix your feet. All right. Yeah, you can also 360. Whoa. Go 360. Beautiful. How do you do an ollie? My legs are a little bit shaky. Ooh. I would be so fat if I had one of these. Let's follow. Does that mean follow? Shumani, Sham. Didn't the guy who invented the Segway die by taking a Segway off a cliff? Uh, yeah. I actually think it was the guy that bought the pattern. Uh, oh, in that case. Have you had any accidents with them? Oh, not, not yet. No? OK, not yet. Great. Three, two, one, go. Parker, where are we going now? We're going to see the ladies making the pasta. We call it orecchiette, small ears. In every corner, in every court, the ladies making the pasta, they use a knife to design like this shape. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Buongiorno. How are you making the curved shape? Schiacciare e rotolare. Oh, you're going like this. How long have you been making orecchiette? Do your children know how to make orecchiette? Okay. Però vedi. 
Oh. Vuole... Vedi? Oh. Brava! Sai quanti italiani vengono? Niente da fare, ma guarda, come, come prima volta, due. guarda. Non <ride> tagliano niente. Ciuccia proprio. <ride> Abbiamo avuto i chef famosi, niente. She's gorgeous. She's perfectly formed. I think we're... And with these claws as well. Vediamo a lui. Che <ride> cucchi. <ride> <laughs> male, male, male. She's inverting yeah, them. She's yeah. inverting, inverting them. Way. That's a completely different way. This lady's got a hold of a message. Right? Boom! Promosso, <laughs> vai! Bravo, bravo! Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> First try with the new method. This lady, she's pioneered the inverted method of making a recciati, which is more my style. Make and as you can see, Wuppe is now struggling. Exactly the same. Maybe I have some Italian ancestry in me, I don't know. Buon appetito. Oh. Quelle sono le tue orecchiette. Those are the ones I made. No, they're not. Ma le orecchiette sono mm. tue. Mm. That is so oh good. And the orecchiette da da mangiare. Now we are expert pasta makers. We're jumping on a 30-minute train to Polignano Amari, home of Italian singer Domenico Maduno of Valari fame, and also, unfortunately, a famous cliff diving spot. God help us all. Cliff diving yeah. is with skill? You're meant to clench your buttocks. Why? I think it's so that a jet of water doesn't give you an accidental enema and rupture your intestines. Okay. Mm, this doesn't sound like absolute science. No, it 100% is. Point the feet downwards, keep mm -hmm. the body as straight as possible, mm -hmm. and don't think about it before you jump, just jump. Just hurl yourself off a jagged rock face into water. Yes. Don't think about it. Yeah. Do you know when your parents ask you, like, if your friend jumped off a cliff, would you too? And everyone's like, yeah, I'm the kid that said no. I just don't want to dash my old noggin on the rocks and shattered into a billion pieces. All right, all right. enough talk. Don't doing touch that. me like that. Three. No, don't stop shouting. Two. Do you just want to go and do it gentle? No, yeah, fine, fine, OK, OK. Be careful. Three. Wait, no, can you just give me one second? I need to get back in position. <laughs> Three, two, one. one. <laughs> I just remember falling for quite some time and then hitting the water, but I think I had my eyes closed and made a really weird noise. Guys, I'm bleeding to death here. Oh my God. The sharks are gonna come and get me, bro. <laughs> Do you think that cliff diving is a metaphor for life? So you're falling, so it's scary. You take that leap, your fall is also scary, but then you realize once you do it, that it's not yeah, that bad. Yeah, exactly. But you got to try it to know it? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a changed woman. Wow. <laughs> it really, it's crazy. The girl I was five minutes ago, who was she? Who is she? Where did she go? And then She's look at gone. this fine young thing standing in front of you, graceful. You know what the main thing is? We didn't get dashed against the rocks. No, we didn't get dashed. Yeah. You saw a little crab on the way out. Next time on The World Without Planes, it's part one of our season finale, where we catch a train to Naples, eat deep fried pizza, and party at a refugee dancehall club. 